I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me! Hey, 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 calm down! Calm down! What's going on here? I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mr. anyway. what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <sighs> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Unfortunately, we have to listen to him, even if he is an arsehole. He's in charge of this mission, and what he says goes... He's not in charge of me. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <coughs> your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! I'm doing this for my family, Biscuit. This is oh, the only it's way. Always about you. Your family. Your problems. <coughs> Come on, Asher. Hit me. Uh, oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You wanna help? Come on! Fight back. Is this what you want? Get off me. I can't. I can't talk about it. Whatever your problem is with Marine, you have to get over it. Get over it. I was a slave. Here. In this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. I'd ask what you were thinking, but maybe I don't want to know. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Here. Yeah. Thank you, little brother. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza.
because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. We can't afford to fuck up this mission. You know how important this is. Right. Your family. Iron from fucking ice. I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend. But then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I have some business to take care of. That's all you need to know. Some business? Just trust me. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. Oh, come on, Mira. <sighs> Fine. Just stop making that face already. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. You're quite handsome yourself. I can see why Sarah likes you. Hopefully that's not the only reason. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I have to take care of a personal matter. Oh, well. Don't let us stop you, then. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe that... You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets... That and... is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Garden. Well, 
Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Oh, surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Let's not repeat too much gossip. Oh, it seems so calm out there. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. You're always so livid, Lord Andros. It can't be good for the Constitution. You think you can mock me? You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend Morgren scare me? Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Good day, Lady Mera. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. I have a message from Lord Andros for you. And what would that be? He said he'd do much worse than drive you out of business. That insufferable! What did he mean by that? It seems Andros has already roped you into this mess. If you must know, I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. How quickly people forget where they started. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me.
Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Ah. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't have... No, no, it's not your fault. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I'm sorry. I respect that. Trust is so rare in King's Landing. I'm glad you think so. And just between us... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Tarwick. I'll keep your secret safe. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family. Her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. She asked me not to tell anyone. But Sarah is a bastard. Are you certain? She was born Sarah Flowers. The Tyrells renamed her. How incredibly disappointing. She seems so refined. I was certain she was born a lady. You can't tell Sarah I told you. Please. No, no, you, you have my word. Thank you for being honest with me. It was the least I could do. And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right, Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse Needed milk of the poppy for weeks, just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, 
He's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. I might, if I have to. I'm quite serious, Mira. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to undo. Lady Mira? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well, now you know, too. That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. 